Today, we travel to the desert of California, to Slab City, East Jesus, Salvation Mountain, and Bombay Beach. Join us where we take some medium format photography pictures with a medium format photography camera. That was a weird intro. We begin our day in Yucca Valley at our Airbnb near Joshua Tree. They're a very exclusive and luxurious swimming pool. Bill from Richard Photo Lab told us it was date season, uh, which means that the dates are being collected from all these, these palm trees that you see. And uh, he told us to try uh, a date shake. So an ice cream shake with dates. We're hesitant, but we're gonna try it later. We're on our way to the Salton Sea, uh, specifically Bombay Beach and uh, just kind of, I don't know, Slab City. We're going to go to Salvation Mountain. All kinds of activities today. We pulled over at this abandoned uh, film photography location that was set up here by Richard Photo Lab. I'm kidding, they didn't do this. But this is kind of a dream film photography location with the beautiful blue sky and some abandoned signage and some buildings. Uh, there's a, a banana taking a poop over there. It's probably the finest photo I've ever taken. Might be a bit out of focus, it's at infinity. This is nice. Bombay Beach in the 50s was a luxury beach town, but the Salton Sea became very polluted due to runoff and by the early 80s, it could no longer sustain wildlife. Pretty much all of the 100 million fish in the sea died, including a lot of the birds around as well. As you can imagine, it didn't smell very good here for a long, long time. Here we are, Bombay Beach Club. I've actually uh, set my ISO to 200, but I have 400 speed, I have Portra 400 in this, so it's overexposing everything a little bit. Give it that nice bleached out desert look. And uh, yeah, really interesting drive out here so far. Not a whole lot going on. The Salton Sea, uh, it looks like the ocean. You can't really see the other side. And all kinds of abandoned things on the way out. I feel like it's kind of a photographer's dream this area. Uh, so I'm happy we're making the drive. I feel like today's gonna be an interesting day. We are going to get that hot sun, that hot noon light. So it's not gonna be the greatest lighting all day, but I kind of feel like that goes with the scene. So golden hour, very nice for lighting, but I don't really feel like it encapsulates uh, kind of what's going on out here in the desert. To add to the overexposing tip, I would much rather overexpose an image than underexpose an image. And by overexposing always, you're kind of protecting yourself against from accidentally underexposing in a dynamically rich scene. There's the disco ball inside it. Bombay Beach has something unique and interesting going on on every single street of the city. Really cool place. It's a fun project. And then we rolled up on one of the most unique things that I've ever seen in my life, personally. Here at the Bombay Beach drive-in uh, where they've set up I'm assuming an old sign and they've just set up a bunch of wrecked cars that are all facing a, a makeshift screen on the side of a, a trailer here. Just here at the Bombay Beach drive-in you know it's a great sign. This car has definitely been on fire. I very much enjoy using the Fujifilm GA645W as a walk around camera. I would enjoy using the regular version of it as well. The W, it's a prime lens, so the, the W is the wide angle version of it, or you can purchase the not wide angle version of it, which is closer to a portrait camera. It's also a ZI as well, which comes with a zoom lens, but I prefer the primes. Uh, loading in a roll of Ektar, which is a 100 ISO film, so we've got lots of light today. I have no need for high ISO performance in my film. And Ektar, um, I haven't shot it in conditions like this before, but typically you're going to get a little bit more saturation than a Portra for sure, but also a little bit more of a red tone. So I feel like it kind of goes with the desert landscape, um, really punchy colors and kind of hopefully good sand and, and brown tones. I'm also gonna meter it for, it's a 100 ISO film. Um, this is just a medium format point and shoot. I'm actually going to set the ISO maybe to We'll set it to 80. 64? We'll set it to 64, like the Nintendo. So everything's going to be a little bit overexposed in the camera. I think a better color palette for out here. If I was metering exactly for the scene, uh, all the colors are going to be maybe a little bit too vibrant. And uh, yeah, I think it's the right choice, but we'll find out later, or you'll find out in this video.
Huh? After laying dormant for a little while, this city is definitely re-emerging as an art city. A place that you can go if you really want to just create unique and interesting things and you have the space and the ability and a bunch of other like-minded individuals to do that. So uh, I'm excited to see how Bombay Beach actually progresses over the next couple of years. We've been in Bombay Beach for a few minutes now and uh, seen a lot of great art installations. I would say that the Sotheby's behind me is maybe my favorite art install. I'm assuming it's an art install, kind of like the Prada Marfa that looks like a legit Prada shop, uh, but it's, it's not, it's just, it's just art. I feel like this Sotheby's is uh, on that level. The dogs, dogs love that photo. If you ever are in the LA area, I would recommend a trip out this way. I feel like it's definitely a lot different from what you would experience if you just put Palm Springs on your map. So maybe head out to Palm Springs, see that, and then, then come on down this way. It's not, it's not too far. And uh, depending on how south you go, you can also get into some sand dunes as well. These aren't the sand dunes. That was an uh, accidental transition. We then headed south to Salvation Mountain and Slab City. Uh, this is one of the stops along the way. I think this is the closest city to uh, what's going on out here, which is about 20 miles away. And uh, this is Salvation Mountain. A man named Leonard Knight created Salvation Mountain and worked on it pretty much every single day and night for 30 years. He slept at the base for a long time in a pickup truck and eventually I think they got some RVs and made life a little bit better uh, out here in the desert. Here we are, Salvation Mountain on the way to Slab City in the East Jesus. And it's uh, all the buckets of paint that you see here are what painted this landscape mural. Still on Kodak Ektar, and the colors, I'm very, very happy with them overall. I, I do very limited editing to any of my, my images, usually just cropping because I always shoot everything on like a one degree or two degree angle for some reason. Off of that one. And uh, yeah, that's a straight scan from Richard Photo Lab. That one too. It's just funny that we're like the only ones here. And if you're coming all the way out here to Salvation Mountain, you might as well continue on into Slab City and East Jesus, which is just a three or four minute drive uh, from Salvation Mountain. And what Slab City is, is it used to be in at least the World War II era. Uh, it was a military training facility for the Marines. And then in the 50s, they left that they took all the buildings, but they left the concrete slabs and everybody just started moving in. There is an outdoor concert venue and every Saturday night they play a show. We were unfortunately here on a Monday, so no music, but we did listen to Sandstorm three times in the car. arrived at East Jesus and it is just basically a city of art. Uh, there's a plane over there, there's a car dressed up as a Muppet over here. So if you're interested, come on out to the middle of the desert in California, on the east side of the Salton Sea, and you will find a lot of photographic opportunities and a lot of interesting people uh, if you're not here on a Monday at 9 in the morning. Leaving East Jesus, Slab City, Salvation Mountain, heading back towards Palm Desert to complete our mission that we didn't really know we had until just a few days before. And we were at Richard Photo Lab. Bill was very adamant that we get date shakes when we get to the desert. It is date season, which means they're hanging from the palm trees. A lot of palm trees out here. And uh, I'm going to go get us some date shakes, and I'll be right back. Enjoy the car marshal.
This is a date shake, a product I did not know existed prior to yesterday. Yeah, it's delightful. Yeah, it's really good. Granny Days Jason needs to know about this. Mm, I'll send him a message. It's from California, so he better be onto this already. And that is all for this week. If you're interested in watching more episodes, there is a link below to all other 12 episodes of the Film Photography Road Trip. See you again next week from another part of California.